All right, well, we had a great Saturday, Chelsea, although a couple of communities are getting some pop-up storms right now. Yeah, pop-up storms and good, healthy downpours, yeah. and then they're going to move on off, so it's going to be some hit-or-miss showers this evening. Lime Doppler 13 tracking a small storm just north of Zionsville. Already not seeing any lightning strikes at this time as it continues to weaken, but still, we have a lot of that red indicating some heavy rain just to the east of Whitestown, south of Sheridan, a little farther uh, to the west uh, near Greencastle, we have a shower that's starting to develop ahead of some thunderstorms. It's been moving out of Terre Haute, and we're keeping a very close eye on some additional showers that will be moving through the Bloomington area that's already experiencing some of those downpours because the Hoosiers are getting ready to kick off at 8 o'clock this evening. So we'll have to watch out for the potential for maybe an isolated storm to impact the game. Mostly it's going to be some of those isolated heavy downpours. Not a lot of rain in Indy, but you can see some of those dark clouds off in the distance. Currently it is 84 degrees. The dew points in the middle 60s. So that humidity did return today. Winds out of the south southeast about 11 miles per hour. So if you're grilling out this evening, we will have to dodge an isolated shower. Other than that, we're just going to have some of the additional cloud cover and temperatures this evening holding on to the 70s. Not seeing a big temperature change throughout tomorrow starting off in the middle 60s and only warming up into those 70s low to middle 70s with a daily with a chance for some of those showers and thunderstorms becoming a little bit more scattered like so tomorrow morning we could have a cluster of thunderstorms northwest of Indianapolis impacting Lafayette and Kokomo but then it becomes a little bit more scattered like throughout the afternoon a few heavy downpours but then that should start to roll on off and that activity dies down after sunset. However, that storm system is really just going to sit right on top of us at the beginning of next week, really just kind of wrapping around some of that cloud cover, but we could see a few spotty showers on Monday due to that storm system, that low sitting right on top of us. Also accompanying that low system is going to be a dip in the jet stream as well. So it's going to be a little bit more stacked and allowing for some of that cooler air to move on in and check out our highs over the next seven days. We are going to be in the 60s, not getting out of the 60s on Monday, but then those temperatures are going to be warming back up into the 80s. Once a high pressure system moves in, that's going to really help clear things out for the end of next week. Sunshine will return.